Shabbat Shalom, daughters of Zion. Welcome to the Virtuous Woman channel. Today, our topic will be hidden riches of secret places. Hidden riches of secret places. Hallelujah. It can come to us by getting to know him and the power of his resurrection. A higher I am that I am as promised us hidden riches of secret places. Hallelujah. How can we get hidden riches of secret places? How can we get all these promises that he has proposed for our lives? Hallelujah. Hidden riches of secret places is only the most high, a higher. I am that I am that can give it to us, that can open our eyes, that can lead us to it. Hallelujah. When we are faithful, when we are clean, when we are righteous, when we follow his commandments. Hallelujah. Because he sees everything. He knows everything. Because he is I am that I am, ancient of days. Hallelujah. In Psalms 25 verse 14. Psalms 25 verse 14. Psalms 25 verse 14 says the secret of the lord is with them that fear him when we fear him he will show us the hidden riches of secret places his secret is with them that fear him hallelujah when we fear him we will obey his commandments we will follow his commandments hallelujah And he will show them his covenant. Hallelujah. He will show us all the covenant he has got. He has got for us. Hallelujah. By following his commandment closely, he will show us the hidden riches of secret places. By loving him truly, by seeking his face daily, by acknowledging him in praises. Hallelujah. He will open our eyes of knowledge. He will give us. He will give us. He will guide us. He will give us the secret, the hidden riches of secret places. He will guide us. He will guard us and direct us. Hallelujah. He will speak to us. He will, he will show us who we truly are as a true children of Jacob in the Bible. Hallelujah. He will convict our soul. Ahaya will illuminate our spirit to show us the hidden riches of secret places. Hallelujah. In Job chapter 12. Job chapter 12 verse 22. Job chapter 12 verse 22 says, it discovered deep things out of darkness and bring it out to light the shadow of death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hidden riches. Hidden riches in knowing who we truly are. He will show us. Hidden riches in keeping all his commandments. As his chosen children, he will show us. Their hidden riches is living for his purpose only. He will show us his purpose. He, has, he will show us his purpose. He has proposed for us. He will direct us to the hidden riches of secret places. The treasures of darkness. Hallelujah. He is always having our interest at heart. He will show us, he will direct us, he will lead us. He, he will lead us to the treasures of darkness. Because it's treasure. That's why it's hidden in the first place. Example, just like finding a gold. You need to dig deep to find gold. You dig, dig deep down to find gold. When it is when it is hidden, 
That means you need to seek it and find it. And who can lead is only the God Almighty. Like God, you mime it and shine it up. Then you will, a lot of work, hard work comes into God before it gets to the final work, to final look. It takes a lot of processes. Hallelujah. Through him, by him, following his commandment is how to get the hidden riches of secret places. Hallelujah. In Hebrew chapter 4, verse 13. Hebrew chapter 4, verse 13 says, Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Hallelujah. Everything in the eyes of the Most High is naked. Is I, I am that I am. Night in his in his eyes, in his eyes is just like daylight. Hallelujah. Because whom he has called, whom he has called, he chose. Whom he has chose, he glorifies. We will lack nothing when. He leads us to the hidden, to these hidden riches of secret places. We can get to it through holiness, through righteousness. Hallelujah! And anything we lay our hands on, we surely prosper when we put Him as our shield, as our buckler, as our high tower. Hallelujah! Hidden riches of secret places is with Him. I am that I am. Is in him, I am that I am. Hallelujah. He will show it to the chosen one, to the chosen ones, and glorify us through it. Through it. Hallelujah. In Isaiah 45, Isaiah 45, five, see verses 2 and 3, he said, I will go before thee and make the, and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And three says, And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am thy God of Israel. Hallelujah. He's the only one that can do it. Is the only one that can give us the hidden, the hidden riches of secret places, and we can only get it by following him and being being a good follower, a good dependent, a good lover of Christ. That is the only way that we can get the hidden riches of secret places. Hidden riches of secret places. Is not only tangible things, it is also what we cannot see. In it, it will give us hidden riches of secret places intellectually, maritally, psychologically, emotionally, in every way of our lives. We'll, our hearts, our lives will feel for joy. We will not know where the joy we can pinpoint that makes the joy come, but it's the joy of the Lord, it's the joy from the hidden riches of secret places that God has kept for only those that love him, that God has kept for only those that follow him, or for, that God has kept for only the chosen that he is ready to glorify. Hallelujah. Let us take Christ as our personal Lord and Savior today so that the Most High can give us the hidden riches of secret places, what, which he has ordained for us, which he has planned for us, which he has made for us hallelujah as this is the first sabbath day in the year we call 2023 let us turn a new leaf and give our life to christ and show that we are we have made up our mind that this year we we'll walk with christ we we'll walk with the most high we will do his will hallelujah so he can show us the hidden riches of secret places hallelujah so he can bless us mightily powerfully so in all our ways that we're supposed to obey him that we're supposed to follow his direction in our inside out in our thoughts in our behavior in our actions in our dressing our 
in our in every area of our lives, in everything we do as we as we rise up in the morning, as we follow him from the morning to night, every day of our lives, he will surely is a faithful is a faithful God. He, he will surely fulfill his covenant. He will surely lead us to the hidden riches of secret places. Hallelujah. And he will glorify himself in our lives. Hallelujah. If you have if you have heard me, you listen to me to this hour and you have not given your life to Christ. Tomorrow might be too late. Please say this prayer after me. Christ Jesus, Yashchaya. Christ Jesus, his name in Hebrew is Yashchaya and Yashchaya means Savior. Christ Jesus, Yashchaya, have mercy on me. I believe in your death and resurrection for me. Forgive me of all my sins. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Put on me garment of salvation. Renew the right spirits within me. Grant me grace to follow you to the end. Amen. If you have said this prayer after me, I'll pray this prayer with you from Ezekiel 11 verse 19. It says, I pray Achaya shall give you one heart. He shall put a new spirit within you. He shall take the stony heart out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Amen. If you said this after me, please go to any Bible believing church and God and buy Bible, read and study. Pray, praise, walk closer to him and he will open his arms and hug you and take you and, and lead you to the path of righteousness. And, and Holy Spirit will take you from there and the true man of God will baptize you and we shall see in glory. Hallelujah. Walk with the Most High in truth, in righteousness and in uprightness of heart. Shalom.